Wow, you guys, your energy, we're yeah. feeling you. Yeah. Wow, Jason, that was freaking incredible. Thank you. Like, I cannot wait. Woo. How are you guys doing today? I mean, I know, you know, I know it goes without saying, but it really means a lot to everyone here that you, that you all showed up to unite uh, for this here at Comic-Con. But, but obviously, it's, I, I know it's a lot of hard work. Ben, what did it feel like when you finally united as the Justice League? You know, I mean, this is amazing. It's, this is an amazing cast. And the first time when everyone had their costumes on and we were on the set and it was everybody, it was, it was very much a high, geek level moment. It was just electrifying. It was incredible. Yeah. I just kept trying to touch everyone and everyone had to be like, stop it, stop it. Please, it looks so cool and real. <laughs> it is real. Um, ben, uh, there have been some stories in the past day or so and they just kind of want to know. I know. Let me be very clear. I am lucky. I, I remember we were on the stage a few years ago. And what has happened with Wonder Woman is an incredible, it's a beautiful movie, you are so wonderful in it. Oh, thank you so, and so, so much. And what, so, what is it specifically about Wonder Woman that's special to you? What, what, why do you think that it has, has resonated so globally the way that, the way that it has? Um, I think that, oh, no, thank you, so are you, whoever you are. Um, I think that, uh, you know, this character is just so incredible. She stands for everything that is good, for love and for compassion and for truth and justice and peace. And, and there's nothing not to love about her. Um, and, um, and yeah, and honestly, I'm grateful that you guys have made her who she is and made this movie so, so, so successful. Um, and, and, you know, I can only celebrate this character and be super grateful for the opportunity. There are legitimately like three or four times a day since I saw the movie that I, that I just out loud go, near, 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 Like when I'm trying to run on a treadmill or something. Uh, Ez Ezra is a self-proclaimed fanboy, uh, and I think that it tracks. So, uh, Ezra, what, what is it about this universe that you love so much and being, being such an integral part of it? Well, well, well. Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> um, well, as we know, the DC universe is the first comic universe. Yeah! And this league that we are in is the first, unless you count, the, the, the only one who came before us was the Justice Society of America, which is, of course, us as well. Uh, yeah, and so, I, I mean, I'm thrilled. What more can I say? It's the greatest, as far as I'm concerned. Are there other comic houses? I... There's a couple startups. Yeah, I, I heard about those, but no, I mean, pretty much, you know, the Monopoly, it's unfair. I know there's Marmaduke. I don't know if there's anything else. I've heard else. Marmaduke. Yeah. I have yeah. heard Marmaduke. Doing yeah. very well. Yeah. Uh, what about, what about Ray? Because these characters essentially get their powers as a result of an accident. So how does that unite them? How does that bond them? Well, with Cyborg and uh, the Flash, you know, they do get their powers as a result of accidents, and I think that bonds them in a very specific way, both through the traumas that they've had, but also due to the fact that they're the youngest members of the group. Um, you know, you're kind of standing... Well, uh, well uh, I didn't say the most beautiful, but the youngest, but not the most you're, you're so old. Wonder Woman is so old. We know this. We're like young kids, college kids. Well put, it, well put. But what I think works is that you know you have all these characters that are dealing with their personal issues who come together, for lack of a better term, come together and uh, and are able to use those circumstances to save the world, which sure. is beautiful. I mean, everybody here has gone through some sort of family or emotional situation, and you know you find you find solace in people that are like you, and so they see each other in how they interact. You know, they see each other in their purpose, and you know it, it's going to be. A hell of a good time. Excellent. Uh, this is for, uh, for Jason. Uh, Aquaman seems a little less willing to play with the group. What's, what's going on? Yeah. Let's talk about it. He's cheated. Um, oh, is that work? Hello? Check, 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 check. 
Hello? Oh, now you're all in big trouble. Um, yeah, I just think he's, you know, Aquaman's always, he's not really accepted on land or in the sea, so he kind of lives in the tides. He's just very, I guess he's hurt. He's sensitive. <laughs> and he covers it up. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, he's a big onion. I mean, we're just slowly peeling it away. Yeah. But inside, Don't you see the big safe teddy bear. space? Right over the back cave it says, this is a safe space. You know? You don't feel that when we're together? <laughs> I do, I do. Sorry, this is a personal conversation, guys. If you can just give us a <laughs> But it's, uh, you know, he comes through, and he ends up joining the league, and it's the greatest thing that's ever happened to him, you know? And he's loved and wanted, and uh, feels a part of the team. Well, you. I think it might be time for, uh, to serve up some justice. So, uh, Ben, what did uh, what'd you bring today for... Uh, for yeah! Uh, I gotta say, I just want to take one second to, to, to just absorb this because it's really really great so exciting and so you know how many people in their life get to come to hall h and say i'm batman i mean it's pretty, it's pretty amazing uh, i'm batman so, it was fun i want to say it too i'm batman too i'm batman, oh, I'm batman. uh we have something pretty i think it's pretty great um and you'll, you'll see all these guys and how amazing they are in it and uh I don't think it, it doesn't need much introduction. Let's, uh, let's show it. Okay, what are we doing? What's happening? I don't think I'm a part of this. He's excited. He's excited. This, is, this is how we roll. This is what happened after every case that we get. Yes. <laughs> I thought I was going to be a projectile in like two seconds. We were like, catch me. We're going to do uh, the. WrestleMania. Yeah, WrestleMania now. Yeah. That's, that's, that's gonna be fine. It's a great way. To, I mean, the footage was fantastic. Footage, you guys look amazing. The footage looks amazing. We absolutely should open up the floor to some questions because I know people will have some. Now it's not so fun to pick up the chairs when you've thrown them. <laughs> okay. We got another chair. Chair in, chair in. This is the true Justice League over here. Come in and save us when we Absolutely. need chairs. When Aquaman breaks a chair, they bring another one. That's how it works. Uh, let's take some questions from the audience. Oh, I see Diana has a question. I've never heard that before, actually. What were you doing at the moment when you found out you got the role? Anybody? I was sitting in an airplane, just landed, and then I got the call, and then I started screaming in the middle of the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, I'm Wonder Woman. Don't freak out, don't freak out. Uh, Jason? I was in uh, Mr. Snyder's office, and he's going... Uh, yes, I was in a small town, and he said, I have Zack Snyder on the phone, he wants to talk to you, I don't know why. <laughs> and I said, hold on, this fish is quite delicious, give me another moment. And then I said, okay. And I plucked a bone from between my teeth, and I said, I'm ready. And Zack Snyder came on the phone, and he's like, Ed, I'm a big fan of your work. Listen, I have this idea, it's crazy. Why don't you give me that? Gosh. And I started having a conniption. You know what a conniption is? I do, yeah, some from the South. I had a full one, a, a full, realized conniption. That's right there, and people, and the Costa Rican people were alarmed. <laughs> This man's crazy, he's screaming and spitting fish bones everywhere. <laughs> Meanwhile, that was valid for them to think that. <laughs> Ray, what about you? Where was I? I was in my apartment, and I get a call, I'm reading another script, because I'm thinking, man, I probably bombed that Justice League audition, I'm never gonna get the role. And I get a random call uh, from Zach's assistant saying, hey, uh, Zach wanted to talk to you briefly. And I was like, oh, he's probably just calling me to tell me, oh, well, thanks, but, you know, we're going in a different direction. Uh, he gets on the phone, he's like, so? Looks like we'll be making a movie. And I go, <laughs> I said a bunch of words I can't say because this is a PG uh, audience right now. And I started roll I literally started rolling around on the floor. But I think he called me just to hear that reaction. Because usually, usually you, you, you know, you send it through the agent or the manager and they're the ones that break the news, but he wanted to be the one to tell personally. And you know, uh, it's just a testament to the kind of guy that he is. So, you know, he's with us, even though he's not with us. Um, wow. yeah. None of, and none of us would be here without him. Ben, do you have a... Yeah, I, uh, same thing, I was, I was meeting with Zach. What is your question, Clark? You I don't talk about prank stories. 
I don't know we're allowed to tell those ones. I think we're all funny in our own ways. I think that's what makes us. If you know that the pranks are going to have to become stories later, you got to reel them in big time. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. we just made a, a flat out agreement at the jump. No, no prank sharing. These pranks stay between us. I mean, is it, is it, for serious question though, for Ezra, it's, when, when you're coming in and there's a, a sort of an established group already, and you're the new guy, how are you, how are you seeing how to complement what's going on and how are you seeing about fitting in? Why am I the new guy? <laughs> okay. No, I know, I'm just saying, like, I'm, it's, it's, it can be hard. Sure. But, you know, ho hopefully you just love yourself. Okay. And oh, that's really sweet. What a nice Oprah moment. People learn to appreciate or tolerate you. <laughs> some point or another, get back here. <laughs> <laughs> but seriously, why am I the new guy? I don't understand. I just mean in the Justice League, like in the group. Well, we're, we're all kind of the new guys. Jason, myself, and Ezra, I think. Do some really research, good. man. <laughs> no, <it's>, How <laughs> dare you? Okay. How dare you? This is my house. <laughs> this is their house, my friend. It's been a little week. Sure, it's been a little week. Ezra, well played, well played, well played. Uh, what is it? Thank you for your question. Uh, what is your name, sir? Welcome to our house, and my name is Roberto. Hey, Roberto. Hey, what's up with the reshoots? Are you guys secretly filming part two already? Thank you. Well, if it's a secret, we can't tell you that, first off, right? Um, no, I think we're just about finished with everything. Um, they've been brief, if anything. Um, but yeah, I mean, Josh is a great guy, and Zach picked a good person to come in and and uh, clean up and finish up for him. So we got some more time. What's your name or question? Hello. How's oh, it going, I love guys? You. I love you. No, no, no. First of all, I want to say, you're my boys, but you're my gal. Ah, I love you. I love you. And you but uh, I just want to know from each of you guys. I would do Margot Robbie. Like, that was Will Smith and I have been planning to have a fight for a long time. <laughs> Me and the Fresh Prince are gonna go at it. <laughs> oh, it's, hard. it's gonna be both bloodbath, honestly. <laughs> I'm done for. I'd probably go Croc or Enchantress, maybe. You know, maybe some science versus magic on the Enchantress side of things, see how it all works out. Excellent, thank you so much. Hey man, what's your question? Um, my question is for the whole cast. <laughs> you are a very, very And it's a fair boy. question. Yeah, it's a really, really good question. Son, I'm not sure if your parents showed you the last movie, but Superman's dead. Oh, wow. <laughs> that is the, uh, wow. I hate the pregnant people. Uh, no, I hate the pregnant people. I hate the that's your parents' fault. No. <laughs> you know, hey guys, that's just a fact. My kids are here. Man just likes to drop truth. He just likes to drop truth sometimes. You'll see in the movie. I drop all kinds of truth. <laughs> the soothsayer of the group. <laughs> we don't know. I mean, you guys probably know, but you probably can't say. Um, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I feel can't, like we surprise. can't say much. But you're gonna be. The, if you're a big fan of Superman, then I'm sure you're gonna be very, very happy to watch us. You see that? That's, that's how you do it. You can take the one you want, son. Thank you so much. Hey, what's your name? Wow, like your daughter? No? Yeah. Um, my, who wants to go first? I, I really liked when we were all together. Yeah. As friends. <laughs> um, no, honestly, we had so many great movies. That too. But we have so many great moments shooting that movie with this movie. Uh, but for me, the, the, the most surreal moment was when we were all in our costumes and we were shooting um, a fight sequence. And it was just unbelievable. It was... I didn't know if I should if I should start laughing or just continue staring at the monitor and watching the playbacks because it was so crazy to see all of us in these characters. Um, but that was the most memorable moment that I had that day. Anybody else? Uh, when I got to see all the bat gadgets, we got to see the Batmobile, uh, all the bat tech stuff. That was super memorable. Um, that wasn't necessarily the shooting side of things, but just as like the fanboy in me. I uh, was really pleased that day. And also, 
I think there's a moment in the trailer that we saw in the last one briefly where it's going across the heroes and there's that orange background. Um, that's the, the first time we're all together, standing together, and like, it, it, it was beautiful. It was really, really a special moment. I think my, my, my fangirl moment was probably on the Batmobile surfing it with, uh, with my boy B.A. down there. Surfing the Batmobile. My kids are watching me, I'm like, Daddy's got to go to work. <laughs> ben? Yeah, I, I mean, I, mine's the same as when everybody was, was together. And, uh, you know, also there's, there's really something satisfying about getting to see it. Like, I finally get to see what Ray looks like in the movie. <laughs> you know, he wore his pajamas the whole time we were shooting. I did have a lot of pajamas on. I was the only one without an actual costume. Um, but it worked, because, you know, Cyborg, he feels a little self-conscious about the way he looks, so it, that helped. It helped a lot. You have nothing to be self-conscious no, about, right? stop it, stop it, you me. Excellent. Thanks so much. We have time for one more question, and I'm so glad it's you, Mike. What is your What is your question? Uh, my question is for Jason. Now, I, I know you're a one-man army, but that battalion of, of, of uh, ships that were in the wa in the water was that yours or Mantis's? Or you can't tell. You know what? I'm used to getting in trouble, so you know what? I'm going to tell you. Because <laughs> they sent me all the way to Australia, from Australia, so uh, that's Ocean Master's army. Black Monte ain't got nothing like that. That's 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 my brother. I'm gonna be Thank fighting my brother. Thank you, very much. Thank you Mike. So what do you We are um, the next five questions are for Jason too. <laughs> Give us all the secrets now. We must have them. <laughs> How does it end? Uh, <laughs> what's the last shot? Uh, the, I just want to make sure and let you guys know that uh, Justice League opens November 17th. Uh, three years ago on this stage, uh, I took a picture with, uh, with Gal and Ben and, and Henry, uh, a little selfie that I took, and, but now I, I feel like since, uh, since everyone's here, would you please indulge me because this is an opportunity, I don't know if this is